Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the Sullivan family. It's Friday. What day is it, Flo? It's Friday. Say Friday. Say hello. Can you say hello? Can you say hi? Yeah? Say hi. She's not playing. She's supposed to be napping. But unfortunately, Flo doesn't do sleeping. Do you, Flo? She's just thinking yesterday, I managed to get her down for a nice nap in the morning. Didn't we? You had a nice nap in the morning instead of your normal 20 minutes. Yeah. So I thought this morning, I'll stretch her out. I'll stretch her out until the school run and then she'll have a nice nap for an hour. 20 minutes. 20 minutes and you were awake, weren't you? And now you're grumpy because you've been up since quarter to four and you're tired. Flo doesn't like sleeping. I think she's the first first out of all of our babies that doesn't like sleeping and it's a bit of a shock isn't it she's never slept a night through ever have you and you like to wake up like really really not even really morning it's like the middle of the night it's a good job you're cute it's a good job you're really cute isn't it i think she just thinks she's missing out on too much stuff don't you hey are you missing out if you sleep in? Yeah, missing out. Say, so I want to be learning how to crawl. I want to be learning how to walk. I want to be learning how to do all those fun things. Not doing the sleeping. Hey. Anyway, it's Friday. It's, um, I don't know, it's been a week. It seems to have gone fast on one hand. And then on the other hand, there's a lot happened this week. Hey. Yeah, so a lot's happened, hasn't it? Yeah. It's been a busy week, um, but I'm glad it's Friday. We've got, obviously got, <laughs> she's very heavy. We've obviously got lots going on this weekend because um, it's Toby's birthday on Sunday and we're going out for the day. Um, so that'll be fun, won't it? Yeah. Yeah. she's not she's not interested so yeah we're going out on sunday um for the day so that'll be fun we've got all his presents to do first thing in the morning obviously as well um so we probably won't go out as early as we normally aim to get out but it'll be a good fun day everybody's very excited um today i've just quickly been and changed toby's bed clean the bathroom i'm starting out I, i'm just trying something different because normally i do the bedrooms on a sunday but i end up with like so many beds to change and um like i mean the old girls obviously they do their own room but i do help them clean their own but then i end up with the beds and the bedroom to do and it just takes hours so what i've started doing this week mainly because we're not here on sunday as well is um to change just one of the beds every day i mean i like the thing is it's kind of stems from um i like to have all the beds nice and clean together and the bedroom all nice so it's all done and it's all clean and the bedroom's all nice and tidy um i've always just liked to do it that way because it's nice it can be but i've learned that you know it doesn't really make any difference as long as the beds are changed they're only gonna you know it's only gonna get messed up later on anyway so that's just my own kind of perfectionist thing so what I've decided to do instead, because it only really takes like 20 minutes to change your bed, clean kind of around the bits that they've got, they've got shelves and stuff in their bed um, to clean kind of their little area. Um, so I started doing one of the beds every day so I can strip it and then just quickly, you know, hoover the mattress, clean the stuff around, have a quick dust and then put it all back together. So that come Sunday, all I've got to do is clean the room. So it will cut down on my kind of, Sunday nurse stuck upstairs doing the housework and it only takes because if you think I've got four beds in some rooms so if each bed takes me 20 minutes to change that's like 80 minutes already and then another hour to clean the room you're sort of two and a half hours whereas now it will be much shorter so I've just been up and done Toby's bed so I did Joseph's yesterday because he spilled juice all over it um and I won't get to clean it on Sunday but I'll try and do that next week so today We've got dance lessons this afternoon. Um, I've got to do some stuff on the computer. Uh, I've got some other things 
I need to check that I've got everything coming for Toby's birthday. Are you saying hi now? We've got to go out tomorrow afternoon and get picnic stuff for Saturday because we're having a pic uh, Sunday, sorry, because we're going to be eating a picnic out. Um, so I've got to make sure that we've got that. Tomorrow, that is, we're going out. Um, and get the rest of his balloons. I'm hoping that the other balloons will arrive today. Um, I'm still waiting on one present to arrive. Hopefully that will be here today as well. She's very tired. You're very tired, aren't you, Flo? Are you looking at the ceiling? Hey? So yeah, that's today. Um, we've come to sit down, haven't we, Flo? Yeah, we're sitting down. Um, do you want your toothbrush? Your toothbrush? We'll do some teeth brushing. She likes brushing her teeth. Um, so if you saw my uh, my blog last night, you will have seen that after my little meltdown on Monday um, with trying to chase up Erin's appointments and all those sorts of things, um, I got a phone call on Tuesday um, from occupational therapy about Joseph, um, which was really helpful. Um, I think I might have spoken about that actually in our last vlog. Um, but yesterday, after school or on the school run, I got a phone call from uh, ENT at Ragmore to give her an appointment for her operation, which kind of came out of the blue because obviously I got a letter. <clears throat> we went to see the specialist consultant about a month ago now. Um, and she obviously said the waiting list was however long. And then I got a letter about a week later saying um, that the operation, sh it was a time treatment guarantee of 12 weeks, but that at the moment they weren't able to stick to that 12 weeks. So we'd probably be waiting a lot longer. So we'd kind of resigned ourselves to the fact that we were going to be waiting ages. Obviously I was chasing up um, her hearing aids because that was what was supposed to be put in in the meantime to help her with her hearing. Play with the oven. Um, the flow's now playing with the oven. So, yeah, I got a, a phone call yesterday out of the blue to, to offer an appointment for the 15th of February. So I don't know whether it's a cancellation or, or whatever, but um, the only thing is it's not going to be in Elgin. It's going to be in Ragmore. So I kind of, it's not too far. It's about an hour. It's the only, getting there is fine. It's just the coming back with her being unwell in, in the car. But, you know it's um at least it's it's going to get done which is good obviously i'm not sure that puts us with her hearing because um it could be that when she has her adenoids removed she's having a, um adenoids and tonsils out um it could be that when she has her ad she's got a cup now you have a cup now and a toothbrush um when she has her adenoids removed it might help with her hearing that's kind of the hope um because it can obviously it can block the tubes. Her tubes are blocked anyway, but that can be could be what's obstructing. Um, so it's kind of all if buts and maybes. But you know, it's one step in the right direction. Um, obviously, it will put back anything to do with her hearing aids because they'll have to wait and see until she's healed and give it a certain amount of time, and then she'll have to have more hearing tests and everything else. So it's kind of um, it's a good thing. But equally, it kind of prolongs. Oh, she might, you know, she might be able to hear after operation. I don't know. It's just kind of, I'm a bit, I'm a bit nervous. I'm a bit apprehensive. Obviously, it's, it's still, it's, it's horrible seeing them go down under um, anaesthetic. It's horrible watching them in pain, but you know that it's for a good cause. Um, and hopefully it will he help with, well, it will help with her sleep apnea for sure. Because obviously, she won't have her tonsils in the way. Um, there you go. There you go. The baby's going to sit on the floor now. Um, so, yeah, it will uh, definitely help with that. So it's just whether it helps with the hearing as well. Time will only tell. But, um, yeah, after kind of having my little meltdown chase up thing on Monday to suddenly get a phone call yesterday, I was, you know, I was quite shocked. If anything, I was I was kind of like, oh, right, OK. So she's got a pre-op assessment on the phone on Monday and then on oh, that's the sixth and then the following week she's got should have fingers crossed her operation um so yeah i feel like that's a step in the right direction but then then again like i said you always feel a bit nervous and apprehensive and 
because it is still surgery at the end of the day. And although it's straightforward surgery, it's still surgery. She has had um, anaesthetics before because obviously she's had grommets before. Um, so she has, I can see you. She has been under anaesthetic before. Are you coming back up? She's back and back. Um, yeah, so she'll, she's been under anaesthetic before. So um, she was okay last time. Uh, it was quite a few years ago now, but she was okay. So I know it's, I mean, um, Eva had her tonsils out when she was about five and it was quite, it's quite a, it's quite a, um, not long recovery, but it's a couple of weeks before, you know, it is horrible. Like day, day two or day three, I think was the worst for her because the throat is just so sore. So there'll be lots of ice lollies and, and cold stuff for her. Um, I'm sure when I had my tonsils out, they made you eat like toast and stuff back in the eighties. That would have been. Um, everybody had the tonsils out in the 80s. They don't do it so much now. It's kind of, you, you've really got to push for it and have a real reason for it. Whereas back then, they just used to whip them out all the time. Um, every kid seemed to have them out. Anyway, it's, um, she's dropped her cup. It's a step in the right direction. So that's the main thing. Um, I'm starving. I'm going to go and eat some breakfast. Yes, Flo? Flo's going to find a cup and I'm going to eat some breakfast. So we'll be back in a bit. So I've just done lunch and I did it a little bit early because Florence was not in a good mood. So I've given her early lunch and put her down for a nap of which she didn't really want to go, but she's gone to sleep um, for now. So hopefully she'll have a an hour um, before I've got to take the girls out um, to their dance class. Fingers crossed. So I'm just doing some washing. Um, I don't actually know where the morning went. It just disappeared. By the time I'd done some bank stuff on the computer, Toby's bed, played with Flo for a while, all those sorts of things, um, did lunch. It's gone, morning's gone. Um, I have to go out at like quarter to two to take them to dancing. Um, and then they all finish school at three. And then that's Friday, done. It's Chinese night for us tonight, Chinese takeaway. I like my Chinese on a Friday night. And I don't know, that's what I've got planned. I've got loads of stuff I could do this evening. I'm probably not do any of it. I'll probably just sit down and fall asleep. Um, but yeah. It's very quiet. Joseph's just chilling out downstairs. Flo's gone to sleep. I've still got all of Flo's clothes. Six to nine month clothes. They're all waiting to go away. I haven't had a chance to do it yet. I'm hoping to do it this weekend. When I say this weekend, obviously that only means tomorrow because Sunday we're out for Toby's birthday. So Saturday night I'll be, um, <clears throat> got to make the picnic up Saturday night, but the girls will normally help with that. Livy and um, Isabel normally help with making up the picnic for going out. Um, so we'll do the shopping for that on Saturday afternoon. Then Saturday night they'll do that. Well, I can do Toby's presents and balloons and stuff. Um, and then that should be it, really. I've got an order to pick up, I think, from Asda as well. Um... I ordered the twins some some clothes uh, in the sale, and oh, I know what else I've got to do. I've got to try and get him. I've got to get him an iTunes voucher and get him a number ten balloon. So I'm going to do the rest of the balloons like I did for the twins around the bases. But I'm going to buy him the number ten balloons because he's going to be going into double digits. Can't believe it. We moved here when he was. Um, uh, five months old five months uh february march april may june june he was five months old when we moved here and he's gonna be it's gonna be 10 it's crazy really it's just gone just like that i've been in this house for nearly 10 years now which is the longest we've lived anywhere um i mean some houses we only ever lived in for like 18 months some even less than that um so we moved around a lot and like the older ones <clears throat> As I was saying the other day, Elizabeth had like five different primary schools. Um, whereas like now, Noah was the first one 
to go through the whole of the nursery and the primary school in the same place. Um, Because obviously Lizzie had had like five, Olivia had had about three or four and the twins had had two or three different schools, um, which is just kind of the thing, you know, military life means moving around a lot. So you kind of get used to doing it, but... And they kind of get used to doing it. But obviously our younger ones, Eva's the next one now to... She'll be leaving school, primary school in in June. And so she will have done the whole of nursery and primary school in the same place as well. So it's quite... That's quite a novelty when you've been brought up in a forces family to um, to do the whole of your kind of education in the same place because it doesn't always happen. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's crazy, really. It's, it doesn't seem... I know when, when you have children people always say to you oh it goes so fast and you kind of think yeah I'm sure it doesn't go that fast but it really does it really does Lizzie's going to be so this April we've got um obviously Florence's first birthday which I honestly don't know where that's gone and um Lizzie's 18th so that's going to be quite a big month within like so Florence's one on the 7th Lizzie's 18 on the 17th so within 10 days of each other we've got two really big birthdays this year and so much has happened this past year as well with Ben leaving the RAF you know having to find a new house um it's been a really big kind of year with a lot going on especially the last like six months really there's been a lot going on and um yeah it feels sometimes it feels very very overwhelming with everything that's been going on but I think we're doing all right we'll get there we'll find somewhere to to live soon hopefully keep checking It'll all, it'll all be fine. It'll all work out fine. Anyway, I'm going to put my washing out, put another load of washing on, and then uh, have another look at my to-do list and wait for them to come home from school. The older ones finished early on a Friday, by the way, which is why the girls have a dance class. So high school's up here in Scotland, finish at um, lunchtime, which is about ten past one on a Friday. They don't do Friday afternoons. Um... I can't remember what the reason it was for, I don't know, saves money or electric or something. I don't know, but whatever. They don't do Friday afternoons, which is why they have a dance class on a Friday afternoon. It's not primary, it's just secondary. Um, so yeah, they'll be home soon. So I'm just going to do more washing. Right, just had a quick dash over to Elgin to drop the girls off at dancing. Um, normally I'd bring, I've got Florence. As you can hear um normally i bring joseph as well and we go and get a bit of shopping or just stay out for, because they're dancing for an hour but joseph's not in the best of moods and he doesn't want to put any clothes on um so i've just left him at home with with the girls because um he was happy home there i'm gonna go back um and then ben finishes work at three so then i'll come back out i mean it means a little bit more on fuel because obviously i'm going to and fro but I don't actually have anywhere to go today so we'd just be sitting in the car anyway um so yeah just drop them off i'm gonna go back home she doesn't like being in the car seat unless she's asleep um and then come back out and get the girls in a minute i got a friend Say hi, are you? Got my friend. He very rarely comes and sits on anybody but Elizabeth. Who are you? Elizabeth or Eva no normally are the only people that he sits on. He just bed hops all day. Who's going? Are you coming back? Hello, hello, hey, the beautiful. So he just bed hops all day long. He sleeps on, he likes sleeping on Erin's bed. He likes sleeping on Lizzie's bed. He likes sleeping on, um, he's going to sleep on there now. You're going to sit there now. He likes sleeping on, um, Eva's bed and Isabel's bed. Um, he's not allowed on Olivia's bed because she's she's all right with him in the house, but if he sleeps on her stuff or she gets too close to him, she's a little bit allergic to him. He makes her sneeze. 
Um, so she, he's not allowed to lift the bed. And he doesn't actually try to, to really ever get, occasionally he might try and go on there. He doesn't really go on Charlotte's bed. Sometimes he sleeps under our bed. But um, he's not really a kind of sit on your lap kind of cat. Are you, Oreo? He, he, he's quite independent. He likes to, um, he likes to sleep and he likes to go outside in the evenings. And then he sleeps downstairs in the kitchen at night. He loves Lizzie and he loves Eva. And he would quite happily sit, sit on their laps. He doesn't really come and sit on the sofa on anybody else's laps. And he, um, he actually quite likes Agnes because Agnes has taken, she's slow with him. She takes her time with him. Um, and she's taken her time every single morning since, um, since she's kind of been able to, to give him some treats in the morning. And she sits and he lets her brush him. He lets her brush him. Yeah. Um, he doesn't like the twins. He finds them too jumpy. He's a bit nervous around the twins because they're very like jumpy. So um, he he knows where he he likes to stay and just he's he's a lovely cat. He's very very kind. He just knows what he likes and what he doesn't like. You're getting on a bit now, though, aren't you? Hey. Occasionally we find him trying to get in the baby's cot, but you're not allowed in there, are you? Anyway. Um, that's it. Day's done. Everybody is back home where they need to be. Everybody has, um, picked up the girls from dance class. Uh, Charlotte did the school run for me this afternoon. Um, and I can't think where else. Oh, Ben's home from work. Um, yeah, everybody's, everybody is home. Nobody has to go out anymore today. Nobody needs to be anywhere. Everybody's here. Um, so yeah, that's it. That's the day. I've just got one more load of washing to do. That'll be number four. Some washing to put away. And then I'll probably tell myself that I need to do lots of things this evening. And then I'll probably sit down. I won't do any of them. But I might try. I really ought to sort through some of Florence's woolly cardigans and stuff some hand knitted all her hand knitted stuff because some of it probably doesn't fit anymore um and some of it she's probably grown into now so i really ought to have sort through that but it's a bit difficult sorting things out in the evenings because obviously flows are sleeping here um so i might leave that till tomorrow morning hey boys hey you're so beautiful you're so beautiful That's it, guys. Um, I've got lots coming up this weekend. Uh, I think I think the girls are swimming tomorrow morning. I'm not sure if Ben's then going to take them out. I've got things to do in the house and shopping, all that sort of stuff. So I expect Ben will be taking them out somewhere. And then, obviously, we've got Sunday. We've got the big birthday, Toby's birthday on Sunday. So make sure you stay tuned over the weekend. Um, don't forget to drop us a like subscribe if you're not already subscribed and we will see you in the next video can you say bye oreo yeah just say bye okay. see you soon